I need you to get this in your heart. I need you to own this in your spirit so you can walk out differently than you walked in, that you can go away from watching this different than when you started because you are meant to conquer. You are meant to have victory. You are meant to live and live life to the full. And we ain't talking no health or wealth. We talking walking in victory because of the blood of Jesus walking in an um, identity that the world can't strip from you, that you won't let them take from you because you have been given it at a cost of him hanging. And there is nothing on this earth worth that. Feel me? Let me show you, son, or daughter of the Most High. Let me show you who you are. Because for too long, you've been thinking of yourself as less. For too, way too long. You dare not lift your eyes to the hills to even see where your help comes from. You can't even face yourself in the mirror some mornings because you're thinking you down here and God's screaming, trying to get a hold of you, saying, no, you are up here. If you could only see yourself as I see you, if you only knew the um, extent of your identity, you would never wallow in your pity. I mean, that's what he's trying to do through this. He's trying to get you to stand your ground of who you are, to believe in what he has done and the gift that he has given you through the blood of Jesus. He's given you a new identity. Look what 2 Corinthians says. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all. And therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Verse 16. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. You ain't that sinner you used to be. Like, I can't even look at you like that no more. Why? Because you are highly exalted in Christ. You've got a crown on your head. 